Hey everyone, Sidewalk Runner here, Sidey for short, and welcome to Concrete Vlog number 9. Last week I was talking about how my energy levels were a bit lower, and maybe it's attributed to the fact that I don't eat enough during the week. So I figured maybe we should be experimenting a little bit by maybe upping our calorie count overall and see exactly how we fare. And I'm happy to report that it's Wednesday, and the last two days I have eaten an additional 600 calories, uh, and I've also eaten the majority, not all, but the majority of the... Uh, exercise calories that I have burned off back. I still am in a uh, 500 calorie deficit technically every day, the way I've kind of uh, mapped it out, but in the long scheme of it, um, you know, I've really tried to buckle down and say like, okay, what I was eating before, just add more to it. And I gotta tell you, it is a little bit more difficult in my head because again, I think to myself, I'm eating so much food, it's going to make me gain weight. But maybe that's not really the case because, you know, I did the rock challenge uh, a while back. Um, links down in the description for those who haven't seen it. And I ate 4,000 calories, but I burned 4,000 calories total. And that's also including um, my, you know, my regular uh, BMR. And yet I lost a pound overnight. So maybe there's some truth to eating more. Maybe my body type and body structure just requires that much more energy as opposed to someone who you know, weighs 50 pounds less than I do, and they're, and they're three inches shorter, and they may need, you know, a thousand calories less than me. But, you know, it's just a matter of experimentation, and that's what the week is basically all about. You know, it's going to be more of a mental game for me. It's just the fact of I've been told for many, many, many years that if you want to lose weight, you have to eat less. But the question really is, how much less? You know, I think back to Monday and realizing that, you know, I ate all that extra food, but I actually felt pretty good. My uh, six mile run went really well and it kind of surprised me actually. I thought I was going to be a lot more full. Yesterday was a rest day, it was a special day, so I decided to just take it off, but I still continue to eat my calorie count. Now how about today? Well, I gotta tell you, I ate 1700 calories at work and around 4.30 is when I started getting stomach growls and it made me think, you know, is that me being hungry or is that just my stomach doing stomach things? And then I realized it is hunger because my head hurts. <laughs> every time I get hungry, my head hurts every single time and this is one of those times. So before I'm jumping on this thing, I actually had some almonds and some berries beforehand. So a quick sweat steady and then we're gonna carry on with the rest of our night. So tonight I figured I'd take you guys on a little bit of a, kind of a backstage tour of you, just a little one. Um, essentially, um, for my YouTube channel, um, I've been pretty much doing a lot of analyzing in the background. And if there's one thing that I've learned from Dr. Disrespect is something he said about being a content creator, and that is analyze your numbers as much as you can. And I've kind of taken that to heart because I'm always looking at my channel data, I'm looking at individual videos, and YouTube actually has a lot of great uh, analytics tools to tell you uh, everything from the demographics of the people that are watching, um, you know, where they're where they're watching you from, if they're subscribed or not, all sorts of stuff. And one cool thing I found was um, a list of um, videos that your video was uh, listed as the suggested video to watch after that video was done. And I remember, think it was uh, the Starbucks video where I'm looking at this giant list of uh, you know videos, and I'm just looking at it going, I'm the follow-up act to this. So come along with me and we're going to check out some videos that say, hey, if you like this video, this guy's sidewalk runner, he's got a video for you. Okay, so tips for sidewalk running. Let's see what this one's got. It's running bad for my knees. Some of these are actually mine. Actually, wait. Wait, a lot of, oh, a lot of these are mine. Okay. Okay, so right off the bat, most of these are, uh, most of these are my videos. Got to put on the headphones, otherwise I can't hear. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's take a look here. If you look around your neighborhood, you will probably see asphalt streets, but concrete sidewalks. According to the Federal Highway Administration, it's my home. 700, so the hotter it is outside, the softer the surface when you're running on asphalt. That means that the hotter it is, the less stress on your foot when you land on the asphalt. I mean, that is true, but I mean, well, uh, you know, the hotter it is, the hotter it is, and therefore the hotter you're going to be. And you know what? There is some truth to that, and that's actually why, um, you know, a lot of times I'll change it up, and there's, I'm fortunate enough that where I run, um, there's actually a trail that um, actually spans about maybe a good uh, mile, maybe mile and a half, 
um, of road, and it's actually it's not a, it's like rubber asphalt, so it's actually a little bit better on the uh, uh, on the foot strike. And that's actually part of the reason why I really like going uh, to a couple of parks where there's a lot of grass. I mean, there are always like gravel paths and you know sand and whatnot, and actually. Um, Sometimes they'll have mulch uh, pads, which are interesting, but it's like, you know what? It's not only just, um, it's not only just a change in running surface, it's also a change in just like the texture of the road. So if, uh, you're, so if I'm running on mulch, for example, it's like, yeah, I'll slide around a bit, but I mean, it's also part of the challenge. Kind of like if you were running uh, over at the beach on sand, same idea. Slow motion running side view. Okay, this could be fun. This was back in 2015. I think a marathon would take me four days at the speed. Actually, you know what? Let's go to my first one. Let's go to my very first video I published as the sidewalk runner. Not enough data. Apparently this video is so uninfluential, I don't even need it. <laughs> look at that. Even It's even using my original thumbnail art. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at the, uh, let's look at my A1A marathon, uh, video. Good morning, and I'm here in beautiful downtown Fort Murray. There you go, end of the shot, there you go. We need more, there you go, now we see you. Look at that. Yep, I remember that. Many, many runners. You know, one would say that this is probably a bad idea because it's uh, during the pandemic, but actually this happens, I believe, in February, so this is just before the pandemic stuff really started. So, you know, if anything, this is just, uh, you know, a reminder of what once was. You know what, let's check out my most viewed video of all time, the Disney Grilled Cheese, because that one is uh, really- Oh, so close to 5,000. Seven more people, please go watch that video. Do it for me. Let's see. Whoa, okay, so clearly uh, many a thing with grilled cheese, naturally. Let's see, this is the- Okay, so this one is supposed to be the one that clicked the most through. The best Disney Grilled- The best Disney Grilled Cheese recipe at home, professional level. I'm not a professional. I just like good food. He's grilled cheese sandwich. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, I will give this guy a little bit of credit. At least he's using like clear bowls and such. I was using what that those orange bowls, and you know, at least this kind of looks like what you'd see in a typical like uh, cooking show. Sounds beautiful. Two seconds. You gave us. You gave us crispy, delicious, bubbly ASMR on the grill for two seconds. I wonder how much I gave you. So I'm the follow-up to this guy, huh? Okay. Okay, so... Awesome personality? Okay. Okay. What? Cashier is waiting on Tic Tacs to go all the way down the conveyor belt. Okay, we'll end it on this one because this has got to be good. <laughs> okay, at least that one had some genuine humor to it. Okay, so that's all I can take for tonight. Um, and, you know, it's kind of weird because you look at these videos and it's like, you know, is this the kind of content I want to be associated with? Well, you kind of don't have a choice. I mean, this is what YouTube, you know, in their algorithms figure out, you know, what your video should be, uh, you know, the tail end for. And frankly, I'm fine with it. Whatever gets more people on the sidewalk, and we accept everybody here, you know, it doesn't matter where you're from, what your tastes are, what your likes are, anything like that, all are welcome on the slab concrete. And I'm just going to keep making vlogs and wondering what I'm going to be the follow-up back to afterwards. Hey there. It's Wednesday, we're going on another six mile run, and it looks a little cloudy, but it's okay. it's only just little spurts here and there. I don't think it'll be a problem. My change in diet's been good so far. Um, I'm eating a little bit more calories than usual. Uh, even though I do feel like at certain parts of the day, I think my hunger's actually increased from eating so much food. Like, there's some times where like, I'll finish a meal and then like an hour later, my stomach's growling and it's like, I just gave you food, what the heck? But like I said, this is an experiment, so not too surprising that, you know, my stomach's going to have some changes and some, uh, you know, some things that has to feel out. I'm also making one slight change. Um, I've been uh, getting like maybe four or five hours sleep per night for the last maybe year. And mostly it's, you know, at uh, nighttime, whether I'm taking care of, uh, you know, a video or if I'm playing a game or whatever, I just simply 
you know, just go to sleep later than usual. But I recognize that as a even amateur athlete, um, you need to have your sleep. And, you know, a lot of people will sleep for, you know, eight hours. And I used to sleep, you know, seven, eight hours a night uh, when I first started running. But I guess over time, it just kind of got lost and just figured, eh, four, five, five hours is enough. It's fine. So I recognized that that needed to be changed a little bit. Will that change my nutrition at all? Not really. Um, if anything, it'll just help my body recover more. Or maybe it will. Maybe I'll be more hungry because I need more uh, fuel overall. And I don't know. It just It's just more, again, more of an experiment. But anyway, six miles is upon us. Let's roll. Hey everyone, it's Saturday afternoon and I'm finally hitting my 200 milestone today. Six miles left and 200 miles is in the bag. And I didn't even realize it. I looked at my Runkeeper app and I'm just like, how far, how far am I? Wait, 194? So heck, let's get 200 miles done. Let's go. Two hundred down. Whew, yeah, it was one hell of a journey. And I gotta tell you, you know, it seems like the more I run, the you know, the more easy it is to kind of adapt to the longer runs and you know, even the heat. It's still brutal out here. You know, it's still hot, but I came in Concord anyway. Two hundred down, eight hundred more to go, and I'm gonna keep on running. And you know why? Cause I'm 